Today, I am cutting my own hair. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna do it. How does one- Ow! I almost cut my finger. I, I have done it. I've cut my own fringe, made it a bit shorter. I tried to tidy it up a little bit, and this is what I look like. <laughs> now today, in today's video, I am dyeing my hair half purple, half pink, in the follow-up to having dyed my hair purple and then washed this side with Function of Beauty shampoo and this side with Head and Shoulders. The Head and Shoulders side washed out a lot faster, so this is going to be the pink side. This will be the purple side. And uh, what's that? I hear you yelling? Alex, why are you doing this to your hair? Why are you torturing your hair like this? Please stop. Why would you do such a thing? Uh, because I like to make people mad. Every time I get a comment telling me what I should do with my own hair, it infuriates me enough to make me want to destroy my hair even further. <laughs> so if you're one of these people, it's thanks to you that today's video is happening. But in all seriousness, my long-term plan is basically to destroy my hair as much as I possibly can and then shave it off. Or if I don't shave it off, I'll at least cut it very, very short and start again. My natural red hair, pre-bleaching it a few times, had not been cut in over a decade. Uh, and it was very dry and damaged because obviously, you know, every time you cut your hair and you let it grow out, you, you get nicer, fresher hair. Having not cut my hair ever, my hair was very damaged anyway. So I figure, let's just do everything I ever wanted to do as a teenager to my hair while it's so damaged. And then I look forward to having a short red bob and uh, letting it grow out and be luscious and fresh once again. But that day is not today, no. Today is the day I will be using Etude House two-tone treatment hair color in the shade Pastel Violet and April Skin turn-up color treatment in the shade Pink. Now, both of these products say on their instructions to shampoo your hair and then apply them to damp hair. So, time to say goodbye to the uh, wolf cut as it is right now. Uh, I don't have long because I'm trying to get all of this done before my husband comes home. So let's go quickly shampoo my hair and hope that I've left enough time to get this done. So let's do it. Wow, that is a weird feeling. My hair is so short now. I just, it's, I just went to do this and I was like, no. Nah. You know what? I'm already loving how much easier it is to dry my hair now that there's less of it. It's actually a lot more enjoyable. Gloves? Huh. I feel like I should change my top. I don't want this top to get hair dye on it. Alright, I'm ready. I have the shirt on and I've brushed out my hair a little bit and I can actually see kind of what it looks like now because when it was all sort of curly and everything I couldn't quite tell the shape. But now that I can see these bits are longer, there's a little bit of shorter areas here, and I have hope that if I uh, go to a professional, the, the professional will be able to fix it up nicely for me. So anyway, let's do pink first. Now, they say that this is a treatment, and it says uh, 20 different herbal extracts nourish damaged hair while giving a vivid colour to the hair. So it's, it's not just a hair dye, it's a treatment as well. All right, let's see. Ooh, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Wow, it's very, very, very dark. Okay, look. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I'm just going to do it like this. Ooh. Oh, it smells like cherries. Oh, I'm going to tell you, it's literally cherry scented. It's, it's like that artificial cherry scent. Hmm, this is going through my hair very easily, seeing as my hair is damp. Now let's see uh, just how much of this I end up using on half a head of hair. A half a head of not very much hair left. Alright, so the pink side is done and it's quite a deep colour actually, it's quite a deep red. Nervous. Nervous. Anyway, I'm very interested about this one. This is the two-tone treatment hair color and i don't really understand why it says two-tone <laughs> but on the back it says mystical and vivid color for two-tone hair in 10 minutes two-tone uh 
I don't understand what that means. So let's find out. Well, it looks like a quite deep purple. It's like blueberry jam. Oh, smells really nice. It smells like lollies. Oh, it smells so good. The color is called pastel violet, but this is looking very, very dark. All right, both colors are on. Now we set the timer and we wait 20 minutes. While we wait, I need to go put the chickens away. So come with me. Come on, Rocky. Let's go find the chuckies. Hello, little girls. Hi. What's going on? Hello. What do you want? You gonna go to bed? Come on, everyone, come to bed. Come on, this way. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Keep going. Yep, let's go. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, ladies, come on. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Let's go, little girls. Come on. Let's go. This way. Come on, girls. Into bed. Got any more for me? Any more? Excuse me. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. Don't mind me. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Lockie, uh, you're supposed to be a herding dog. You are a Shetland sheep dog. Can you go herd those ones, please? They're, they're not being obedient. Girls, little girls, stay away from my hydrangeas. You see, hello? Hello? It's time for bed. Do you like my hair, Mango? How to catch a chicken. First, you have to find some. Here's some now. Wrap your arms around them. And there you have it. You've caught a chicken or two. You know, sometimes people dye their white silky bantam chickens. Obviously you'd have to use natural products. So perhaps I should dunk her in some beetroot juice. Uh, I have run out of room for the eggs. I guess I'm having quiche for dinner. So um, here we are, and it's a little bit hard for me to separate this properly. I'm ending up with some pink on the purple side and purple on the pink side, but I'll figure it out. But um, color, color is not pastel, unacceptable. So I'm actually going to duck back into the shower and rinse this out probably one more time uh, with some shampoo. I'm going to use head and shoulders again because I want to wash it down a little bit so it's a little bit more pastel because at the moment the pink yeah it's a real sort of cherry kind of pink the purple is i mean not massively different to the purple that i used before but this pink side we've got to get this under control so let's uh jump in the shower Well, I have washed the pink side four times with shampoo. I left the purple side because I wanted the purple to be a bit stronger. And uh, this is the outcome. <laughs> ah, I'm not, I'm not overjoyed, I will say that. I don't mind it. I, I'm happy to live with it for a couple of days, but I definitely prefer the more pastel sort of hair. And I was really, really surprised that washing this four times with head and shoulders shampoo didn't make the color budge. It hardly budged at all. The amount of times that I've dyed my hair, jumped in the shower under the water with head and shoulders shampoo on, and the color has just run straight off the hair. This one, it didn't. There was a bit of color and then that was it. And then it didn't budge. So I feel like this pink is going to be with me for quite a while. The purple is unusual. I do see why they call it two-tone because in some light, it looks a really dark gray, but then I shift my head to a different position and it does look like a light kind of purple. So tell me what you guys think 
in the comments section down below. Um, I had a little bit too much wine while I was waiting for Dan to come home and uh, wine and scissors don't mix well. I ended up trimming my fringe a little bit more because I thought, oh, you know, the wolf cut needs a, a shorter fringe at the front to look like it's got more layers. And I ended up kind of ruining my fringe. It was ruined already, don't get me wrong. I completely understand and accept the fact that I've ruined my hair, but I don't care. Yeah, I've ruined the fringe even more so now. So I think uh, a couple of weeks worth of growth will bring me through to mid-November, I would say. And by that point, I'll be able to actually visit a hair salon and have a professional fix this situation. But for now, for someone that's staying at home, not seeing anyone else, only having hundreds of thousands of people on the internet seeing me, but I'm not actually seeing anyone in person, so uh, I, I really don't mind if my hair is a little bit whack. The only person that's going to see it is my husband. And speaking of, he did come home. Uh, unfortunately, I did not manage to get all of this done in time to just greet him at the door with a new hairstyle. He went to come up the stairs and I was like, no wait, I'm filming, please stay downstairs. He's like, okay. So uh, he hasn't come upstairs yet, so he hasn't seen. Uh, the poor thing's been sitting down there watching episode one of campaign three of Critical Role. So he's having a great time, but I'm, I'm gonna yell out to him and I'm gonna get him to come up and we're gonna catch his reaction because he has no idea that I've done this. So. Without further ado, let me set up a sneaky spy cam. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow, <laughs> look at you. What have you done? You've been going off and snuck away. What do you think? Oh, it's really pretty. Did you chop some of your hair too? <laughs> oh, it's really, you smell nice too. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. It's got a real like silveriness to it. What do you think of the new hairstyle? Did you chop lots of your hair too? Okay. <laughs> you didn't notice? <laughs> I'm just like, is it a little bit or a lot of it? It's a, it's this much hair. a lot of hair. Say ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well that's it. That's everything. I'm going to end this video here before I do any more damage because the longer that I look at it, the more that I want to just do a little bit of a snippy snip here and a snippy snip there. That's just me being impatient. If I just leave it for a couple of weeks, I'll be able to go see a hairdresser who can do it for me properly and uh, I'm really looking forward to that because this is a hairstyle that I want to hang on to for a little bit before I go cutting it any shorter. If you keep an eye on my videos over the coming weeks, you will see this hair dye as it slowly starts to fade. I'm going to be washing it quite regularly to try and dilute it down to get a bit more of a pastel colour. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to hang around the channel, keep an eye on my hair, keep an eye on my shenanigans, maybe live vicariously through me. <laughs> There's a lot of people that tell me, oh Alex, I would love to dye my hair but I can't because of work or I'm just not brave enough and, and they enjoy watching me do all sorts of crazy things to my hair. So if there's anything that you want to see me do before I finally go short, go back to red, and just leave it alone <laughs> from that point onwards. If there's anything that you want to see me do before that happens, just drop a comment down below and let me know because I am so happy to mess around and uh, do some more damage. How <laughs> looking to protect yourself or do some damage to your hair. But for the sake of Skyrim and her people, I will love you and leave you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!